Turkish defense firm Baykar, a leader in unmanned aerial vehicle UAV technology, is nearing completion of its landmark drone production facility in Ukraine. Scheduled for completion by August 2025, the project represents a substantial $100 million investment split across three strategic initiatives aimed at enhancing Ukraine's defense capabilities. Located in the Kiev region, this plant will be a cornerstone for Baykar's European operations, strengthening Ukraine's defense sector and creating up to 500 jobs in the process. Despite the ongoing conflict in Ukraine, Baykar's CEO Haluk Bayraktar confirmed that the construction is already 80% finished, demonstrating the company's resilience and commitment to its international expansion plans. Initiated in February 2024, the project has faced formidable challenges due to security risks and logistical hurdles. However, Bayraktar remains optimistic, affirming that these difficulties have not hindered the project's progress, and the company is confident in meeting its deadlines. Once the building phase is complete, Baycar plans to equip the plant with state-of-the-art manufacturing tools to meet an ambitious production target of 120 drones annually. This capacity positions the facility to be a significant production hub, not only for Ukraine but also for European defense markets. This project underscores Baycar's commitment to strengthening its strategic partnership with Ukraine, focusing on joint defense and security initiatives. The plant's output will bolster Ukraine's ability to locally produce advanced UAVs, potentially reducing reliance on imported drones. For Baycar, the venture represents an opportunity to expand its footprint in Europe and contribute to the broader security architecture of the region. Baycar has not yet finalized which drone model the Ukrainian plant will produce, with two main contenders under consideration, the Bayraktar TB2 and the newer TB3. The Bayraktar TB2, which has a proven combat record, has been used extensively in Ukraine's defense since the escalation of conflict with Russia. However, the TB3, an upgraded model, offers several enhancements that could make it more versatile and better suited to current combat needs. The Bayraktar TB3 is an impressive successor, equipped with technological advancements that expand its operational range and deployment capabilities. It has a larger frame and folding wings, allowing it to be deployed from aircraft carriers or landing vessels. Additionally, the TB3 can carry a 280 kg payload and has a maximum takeoff weight of 1,450 kg, enabling it to carry a diverse range of precision-guided munitions on six hardpoints. These capabilities, combined with its extended flight endurance of over 50 hours and top speed of 300 km per hour, make it a formidable asset in aerial reconnaissance and combat. Ukraine has primarily relied on the Bayraktar TB2 drones for reconnaissance and limited offensive roles. However, as Russian air defense systems, such as the Panzer S-1, Tor M-2, and Buk M-2, have adapted to countering medium-altitude drones, the TB-2's effectiveness has been significantly curtailed. Russian electronic warfare EW capabilities have also made it challenging to sustain signal reliability for UAVs, reducing their effectiveness in high-risk missions. Consequently, the role of TB-2 drones has shifted. Today, they are more frequently used for long-range reconnaissance missions, where they can collect crucial data while minimizing exposure to hostile air defenses. This adaptation reflects Baycar's ability to strategically pivot its UAV's roles in response to evolving threats, but it also underlines the need for more advanced platforms like the TB-3, which may eventually be produced in the new Ukrainian plant. The completion of Baycar's production facility in Ukraine could have far-reaching implications. For Ukraine, this plant symbolizes an opportunity to enhance its defense manufacturing capabilities and reduce dependency on foreign-produced military technology. The creation of jobs and the transfer of technology will also stimulate the local economy, contributing to broader economic resilience amid conflict. For Baycar, this expansion reaffirms its commitment to international partnerships and strategic growth, as well as its role as a pivotal player in the European defense market. If the TB3 is selected as the primary model produced at the facility, it could signal a new phase in UAV warfare, one that integrates cutting-edge technology with regional production capacity. In summary, Baycar's ambitious project in Ukraine highlights a blend of resilience, innovation, and strategic foresight. Despite the challenges posed by the ongoing conflict, this facility stands as a testament to the evolving partnership between Turkey and Ukraine in advancing defense capabilities and securing mutual interests in a volatile geopolitical landscape.